<laughs> so yeah. therefore now do whatever is required materially have a nice job you can be a millionaire a billionaire there is absolutely no problem you can do whatever you want uh, depending on the uh, codes of the scriptures but that should not be our main goal our main focus our main focus should be to develop a connection with god and when we keep doing that parallelly especially by doing things in the morning then on the other side okay material life sometimes it's good sometimes it's not good so then our fluctuations our mental fluctuations will be very less and that is the only way by which you can maintain a good uh, mental health i would say <laughs> very very interesting every one of you two is is very inspiring and i love what you said about you know success being measured by what you have externally and and shifting from that mindset to succeeding from within let the success come from inside out more so that you you have the strong foundation um so now my next question is I, i've watched some of your videos and you speak a lot about routine and you mentioned something right now about uh doing some practices in the morning and because i'm studying ayurveda as well in ayurveda there's a lot of importance given to routine whether it is dinacharya which is daily routines or rutacharya seasonal routines and all of those routines aim at um creating harmony within around and being in harmony with nature for example with you know the the energies in the universe um so what what can you say about this the the morning time and and having a routine because you know i heard this also somewhere that i really liked you know the rest of the day we're kind of like serving other people when we go for our job or when we are looking after the family that time in the morning treat it as serving yourself so that again you have that strong foundation from which you can do everything else so can you say a few words about this the, the importance of the morning routine or having a routine spiritual routine yes very good question in fact uh, when you ask this question i remember a proverb <laughs> mm-hmm. the proverb it's not like a ancient english proverb but it's used these days you know or especially in the corporate scenario it's used uh, it's, the proverb is you can only give what you have so that sums up this routine so when we are having a routine uh, it's like uh, if you go to fly you know in a aeroplane what does what does the uh, they announce you know if there is a lack of oxygen pressure you know, put the mask on yourself and then put on your baby you know right yeah. so it's like oh no no my baby is more important i'll protect the baby you know but then what about you if <laughs> you are only not living how can you protect the baby right so uh, when we are doing uh, spiritual practices in the morning uh, then it is like uh it's like see when you are doing uh, your sadhana it is like uh when you touch a electric sh- uh, socket you, you just get a shock you know it's like wow <laughs> so god is like that energy powerhouse he's the source of all energy so when we are connecting with him then we are recharging ourselves it's like you put your mobile on charge in the morning you know? <laughs> so it is exactly like uh, uh recharging your batteries because why 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 because when uh, in ayurveda and in scriptures it is also said about the gunas you know like three gunas are there more sattva guna rajoguna tamoguna so when you are sleeping for 6 hours uh, uh, or 7 hours or 8 hours maybe even 12 hours sometimes these days <laughs> then what happens is uh, you are in tamoguna you are in mode of darkness ignorance because it's like temporary death you are not aware of anything it's, it's like anybody comes and chops off your neck then you never know it's like it's you are almost like dead so then uh, it is suggested that you get up uh, when when your sleep breaks then uh, you take a bath in cold water it's very much important in the morning of course depending on medical your situation i'm not endorsing that but if if you are a normal person and you are able to do things normally then most of the people they can do this you know taking bath in cold water 
even medical science ways also that uh, that also is recommended because that activates your sympathetic nervous system and you know? then you uh, you start uh, all uh, your every you your awareness increases you know? and then you uh, you sit and you do your mantras or your any asan that you do or uh, reading of the reading of the scriptures is very important when you do that and listening from your gurus you know in the morning Uh, especially uh, it's recommended during the brahma muhurt we do so brahma muhurt is one and a half hours before sunrise uh, roughly so if the sunrise is at you know 5:30 then from 4 around that time so it's recommended that we uh, do it during the brahma muhurt and uh, it is said that whatever we do during brahma muhurt you know that uh, that actually happens in our life you know? so In fact, that is why also they say in India, if if you see a dream in the morning, it's it it becomes true. Why morning doesn't mean like when sun is up in the sky, but just before morning, it's the Brahma Muhurat time. So, because when it's Brahma Muhurat, the denizens of the higher planets, you know, the the devatas, they they it is said that they are uh, roaming in the sky, and you know they actually. invest you with all your powers and poten- with their powers and potencies you know they empower you and whatever you do during that time that sets the tone for the rest of the day you know so for example you can just try this yourself you know one day you get up just don't do any of this just take your mobile and go to instagram and just waste your time one hour in the morning <laughs> mm. just write down in that night of that day how did your day go you will see it it will be the worst day of your <laughs> week <laughs> because it's like the start it's like uh, the energy you know it's like the fuel fuel is not there how will the car run there is no electricity you know, or the, how, how will the system run as they say um, if you are too busy to meditate for uh, one hour then you must do it for two hours they say like this <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like you know when the f1 cars are racing you know, then they they stop for some time you know they have to refuel now somebody may say oh why are you wasting time you know you should go and go in the race you know why are you coming to this part and you are refueling it's a waste of time but then you can't do you you can't go for a mile also you know what to speak of winning the race so morning sadhana is like you are enriching your mind and your body and Uh, your intelligence these three should be there in the morning sadhana you should enrich yourself uh, by reading the scriptures or any text which inspires you from the ancient traditions when you read them what happens in the morning is your intelligence gets sharpened which will help you during the day to make right decisions and you can also learn from the mistakes of other people so suppose in if you talk of you know ramayana or mahabharat if you read then you will see or oh, somebody did some mistake then this happened no so i should not be like him i should not be like her you know so it doesn't mean you do it one day but you have to do it every day as the shrimad bhagavatam says you know nityam bhagavat seva nitya means every day so when you do that regularly when you make it a practice Uh, and even physically also you know you should be uh, sitting in a good posture and not just oh, some people are like taking the beads and you know they are <laughs> going into the bed and they are saying oh we will chant like this no it's not like that or you can do some surya namaskar or you go to the gym or have some discipline of your body very important like as i said getting up uh, in a fixed time that is very essential uh, not saying that oh anyways tomorrow i'll get up at 5 you know oh maybe if if it gets late i'll get up at 6 you know so not like that trying your best to have a fixed time when you get up uh because when you fix that then your sleep time will be fixed during the night because otherwise if you say oh anyways uh, i will sleep any time i'll get up at any time you know then uh, you you may go to a party in the dead of the night and then you may spoil everything right so therefore uh, it should have these three elements you know you you should be uh, energized physically then mentally when you are doing mantras as the word mantra says you know manatrai that which that which delivers the mind from what from anxiety from negativity all these things and mantra delivers you from all the negativity uh, but it helps you connect to god you know that that is why mantras are very important that's for the mind 
and for the intelligence we have to read the scriptures or any ancient epic which inspires us so once we do these three then what will happen it will affect us overall during the day even if you are going for your job or you are spending time with your family anywhere it will always affect you there if your intelligence is very clear then people will notice it during your job the oh this person is very much clear what he or she says he, they do not that oh today i said this and ah, it's, we'll do it some other time no, it's not like this so then you lose your credibility you lose yeah. respect so if you are uh, if you are very true to your word if you are uh, very much uh, following the principles then everybody will like you naturally you will become a uh, you will attract people naturally not like the way people attract these days <laughs> and that is why it is said in the scriptures that one who does uh, uh, diligent practices every day morning uh, that person is known as uh, dhira dhira janapriya dhira adhira means dhira means the good people adhira means the criminals the not so nice people the bad people janapriya means you will be liked by the good and the bad imagine the good people are liking you the criminals are also liking you you will become like that in in the scriptures narad muni was like that you know when he would go to the heavens indra would come down and touch his feet and when he would go to meet hiranyakashyapu he was a demon he came down and touched his feet oh great sage please please enlighten me wow incredible <laughs> so it is not going to only benefit us spiritually it will also benefit us materially then we will make the right decisions we will not give in to the uh, pangs of the mind temptations we will be able to resist temptations and these days so many people in fact today also somebody asked me you know why why are people in today's world uh, in instagram somebody asked me that why are they not being able to be faithful to one partner why why are they hopping like animals from one person to the other why is it happening because they are not finding happiness because they think that getting into a relationship or getting married will solve all my problems it doesn't solve it worsens it actually if if you if you are uh, if you are like a, if if you don't have harmony within yourself then uh, when you get into a relationship or you get married that disharmony will pass on to your spouse and then that person will uh, reflect it back to you so you'll become more miserable like that you know so mm. therefore uh, so many temptations people have these days you know people are not able to maintain chastity towards one partner why is it because they are giving into the whims of the mind so when we do our morning sadhana properly we will be able to say no to temptations that is the only way out otherwise you can't artificially say that no 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 this is bad i will not do i will be a nice person you know i will be good i will try my best no it doesn't work like that <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. our parents their generation was a bit different parents or grandparents even when they did not do much spirituality they could still to a large extent they could say no to temptations because they had a very simple life and that time they had this cultural norm you know oh you should not go outside you know you should not do that this is infidelity or something but nowadays in our generation that cultural norm is not there so now yeah. if you do not have self control nobody is going to pick up the phone and uh, scold you hey why are you doing this you know you should have done that this is not good nowadays everybody is like okay be by yourself do whatever you want right so now in our generation this morning sadhana is very important because only then we can keep a check on ourselves because now there's nobody else you know, it's not like the generation of our parents where you do something wrong your father will chastise you your mother will chastise you your grandparents will give you a scolding hey, you should not do like this this is wrong do this don't do like this you know nowadays in fact if if you do in some countries if the parents do that they the children will call the police okay my father is you know scolding me they will do like this so then the parents also can't do anything so nowadays that is more required than previous generations so it's very important it's very good that you pointed this out very very good um yes and for all the viewers this is these are uh very very valuable um advices that you can get and uh, like we said before we started this video this can go on we can keep talking about this subject because there's so much to say and you have so much 
goodness to share. But I'm going to close it with one last question, just because you have brought up the, 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 the subject of partnership. Um, in one of your videos, you, you mentioned, you know, people chasing independence nowadays, especially our generation. I think, you know, we, we want to be independent. Oh, I'm independent. I don't need anyone. Um, and again, being independent, having everything, but still feeling that void and feeling that emptiness and being miserable at the end of the day. Um, so you, so now I'm bringing in a little bit of astrology because you're such a great uh, um, astrologer, I would say, and you have so much to share about this. You, you spoke about the five months where Jupiter is transiting Aquarius and which is a very, very good time to evolve more into the culture of interdependence. So can you very, very quickly give a few tips to our viewers on how we can use this period to evolve that way? Yeah, so uh, first you have to understand, like uh, in the scriptures, there are three levels mentioned. Nowadays, many life coaches, they also say this. So uh, the first level is, you know, dependence. Dependence means you are dependent on somebody, you want somebody to come and uh, do some magic in your life. <laughs> That's what is dependence. Financial magic, mental magic, intellectual magic, sexual magic, some form of magic is required. You know, I am unhappy. I will only be happy if I'm with that one right person or that soulmate as God has made for me specially, right? How I am, that doesn't matter. But God has somewhere in this world uh, created another fool like me who will be very much interested in me, you know, and then they'll come and give everything that they have and we will take everything and then we'll be happy, right? Uh, in fact, nowadays, uh, there, are soul, there are no soulmates, you know, they're like soul groups these days because every three years, the soulmates keep changing these days. Anyway, so... So that's the concept of dependence. You know, when you want somebody to come and make you happy, that is that's a very poor uh, stage where uh, you you are not having those 